This is the Galton box I built. Uh, I've been taking the data science classes uh, from Johns Hopkins via Coursera. And in the statistical inference class, they showed uh, Sir Francis Galton's quincunx. Um, I prefer Galton box, it's a little easier to say. And uh, I wanted to build one. So I actually found some uh, code in the R animate library that allows you to actually uh, emulate one and uh, I ran a few simulations and once I found uh, a set of uh, values I liked I, I went ahead and built one. This is uh, just from some scrap material that was sitting around the garage. Uh, I think in total I spent about ten dollars uh, for some levels that we use to make sure that uh, both ends are perfectly level. That way our uh, coin toss or left or right is uh, 50-50, or as close as we can make it. Um, leftover plywood, um, some sticks of walnut that I got from the uh, Amish woodworking place in Ohio, and uh, um, basically these are uh, machine screws. Uh, you can buy a whole box of them at uh, your local Home Depot or Lowe's for about five dollars, so that wasn't too expensive, just uh, some parts left over in the garage. The uh, probably most challenging part was uh, coming up with a grid uh, to actually drill the holes so that we could install the pegs or the machine screws. And uh, I just ended up using a piece of uh, graph paper and using that to mark the wood and then drilling the holes. Then thread it in the machine screws. Um, I made the top up here adjustable so that we can get that first ball to land right on uh, the middle of this pin. And it works fairly well. Um, originally, you can tell by the hole up here, I had a pin up there, but uh, that's where the theory and the reality meet and uh, the marbles were bouncing off of this pin pretty hard, bouncing up and then off to either side. So it was never really going through the, the actual center of the pegboard here. So what I did is I removed one pin as I had seen in several different examples and now if it bounces up it tends to catch one of these and go down either side. Works fairly well. Um, you can see I've got it leveled fairly well and uh, let's go ahead and run a hundred marbles through and see what we get. see it's fairly well level. Uh, every so often they'll hit like this and uh, I'll just flip on either side. And if you go down to the bottom and kind of look at the histogram, it looks uh, reasonably like a, a bell-shaped curve, a normal distribution, which I believe is what uh, Sir Francis Galton was trying to prove, that the binomial and normal distributions were approximately the same kind of the basis for all of our modern statistics, um, central limit theorem and large law of large numbers, and uh, works fairly well.
about, about what I'd simulated. We do have one last little trick. In order to make it easy to get the marbles out, I made this piece of wood. And now we can just get the marbles back into the container. Well, I'm going to put a few links uh, to Wikipedia for uh, Sir Francis Galton's, uh, Galton's quincox, and uh, I hope you take a look at it. It's kind of interesting. Some uh, interesting stuff related to Pascal's triangle and each of the pegs in terms of uh, the number of routes a marble can take to arrive at a peg. So uh, I should probably take a look at that as well.